Love is Blind season three after the altar. When was this filmed, y'all? I'm like, I'm confused. So when was the reunion filmed? So y'all filmed this before we even seen the season. I'm just all confused. And I'm like, first of all, I just got some major issues. It don't seem like Alexa Daddy is a fan of Brennan because them jokes was not jokes. He was telling the goddamn truth and Brennan need to get off his goddamn high horse because we know about his past allegedly, okay? SK brother know that he was a messing around on Ray why he acting like that Colleen do not like Matt she does not like anything about Matt Nancy and Bartice is still f***ing on each other get the f*** out of here let's get this review started blind after the altar let's get into this season 3 you know who my favorite person is Nancy's mama Nancy's mama was like, I don't like him. I don't forgive him. Fuck him, okay? I said, I know that's why she's like, you better go on and cry. Get it out. That's how you gonna heal. Go on and cry. You need to heal. What the hell? He disrespected you and you still want to be his friend? I said, it's because she's still sucking his dick. <laughs> it's the goddamn truth, okay? Friends my ass. Friends with goddamn benefits. She was crying extra hard. I can't date anyone after him. But he sure can. What, he on the boat with another girl on 4th of July right after y'all didn't say I do? He has disrespected you. You need to move around. Why are you keep trying to make fetch happen? Girl, you better go on somewhere with that. And all your friends got to tell you that you and him shouldn't be messing around. Then you're going to take their advice. You should have made that decision on your own. And her mama and brother is right. She deserves better. Nancy is a pretty woman. She does not have to put up with Bartice. He don't even know how to do his hair right, okay? I hate that little whatever he got, that kid and play junk going on. It looks terrible. If you don't cut that off, you cut it off. Cut it off. You know when he had that bun up there? I said, now, why he got that baby Afro puff up there? You know, back when I was in middle school, girls that didn't have no hair had their little bun, but they used to put a whole bunch of hair ties around it. That's what he might as well do, okay? Bartice is a jerk. The only reason he don't want to let Nancy go is because he loves to have her as his little safety blanket. But he going to say, she's just my friend. He don't see nothing past that. But you're still f***ing with her, right? That's the I don't like. He's stringing her along just in case he don't find nobody better than Nancy, okay? And Nancy would be dumb to keep sticking around. We all done been there. I don't blame Nancy. I done been there too, girl. Like one day he going to change. One day he going to choose me. It don't happen because he has already put you in the friend zone, okay? That's what I hate for Nancy because I really like Nancy. Nancy was looking good at Alexa's birthday party. I said, Nancy, you better slay him. Nancy was looking good when she was at the house planning her little remodeling and stuff with the ponytail and stuff. Nancy, you're a beautiful woman. Bartice ain't nobody, okay? Please move around. Don't let him dish you. If you just need a little F, buddy, you can go find you one of those easily. But Bartice, that's a no-no because he's a jerk. He's young. He's stupid. Move around, girl. Listen to your mama. Your mama been there, done that, wrote the goddamn book on it, and got a couple of kids to show for it, okay? I like her mama. I really do. I really like Nancy. Bartice, I really don't care for her. And what I still don't understand is why nobody's getting on Bartice. I guess because all the guys like Bartice and he's like, hey, I'm your friend, I'm your buddy. But I think Bartice is worse than Cole. Period, point blank, if you ask a hoe like me, okay? But we all done been there, Nancy. I ain't judging you hard, girl, because I done been there too. I done got played too, girl. Holding on to hope that ain't there. Woo! We all done been there. If you ain't been there, then you can't be my goddamn friend, okay? Anyways, on to the goddamn next. That SK and Raven, baby. Justice for a Raven. Justice for a Raven. Like, are you serious? Make her the new Bachelorette on ABC. Like, she needs her shot. She needs her chance. I'm done with that. SK is so goddamn trifling. How SK gonna say, yeah, it's expensive long distance. Am I the only one that knows you was going out the country with Becky with the good hair? I'm just saying, what the fuck? When he said that, I clutched. I was like, oh. expensive, sir. Got this girl even thinking about moving to California for you. Y'all done moved, you done took it as far as y'all moving in together? SK, stop it. Are you serious? And let me tell you something. His brother knew the whole time that he was being trifling. 
His brother knew the whole time. His brother couldn't believe that he was going to propose to Raven. And he knew his brother was being sneaky on the side. He, maybe he told his brother the same thing. It's for the show. It's for the money. Da, 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 da. When his brother said, you need to find out the return policy. I said, we are in trouble. And this is what I'm saying. These guys will stick together, not tell you. You couldn't send her a secret message and be like, listen, my brother is trifling as fuck. Run, run. Like, why would you sell her this dream? Why would you get her hopes up? You broke her heart at the altar. Her and your mama was broken hearted, okay? His mama didn't even show her face on this after the altar, okay? Listen, you broke her heart then. She gives you another chance understands and you still broke her heart again you went as far as proposing on the rooftop it was so pretty why i cry y'all why did i cry not because of the pro the proposal because i knew what was gonna happen oh i was so mad you know i dated a few africans in my day and none of my experiences have been good i am not dating another african if Jesus himself came down and said, you need to date this African unless it's Trevor Noah. Okay, now I will date Trevor Noah. That is one African I will make an exception for. But these regular ones in these streets? No, sorry. Hell no. I ain't doing it. Even my friends done been married to some Africans and they didn't have no good experiences. So what the fuck? Do I think I'm different? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. The way he did her, was so messed up and she found out like the rest of us and that's what i don't get at on love after the altar we didn't even see the show before y'all filming love after the altar you need to wait till we see the show till y'all do the reunion all that so people can drag them for their entire goddamn life and then we can see what happens after all the secrets came out what the hell you get what i'm saying i don't get it i just don't get it I feel bad for Raven. Raven deserves justice. Hashtag Raven deserves goddamn justice. Okay? Oh, I can't stand me no SK. I can't. And I understand everybody's not perfect. Players fuck up too. But this was a major fuck up. He is not ever going to get a woman like Raven. Okay? She is too beautiful. Too beautiful. And Raven knows her worth. I hope she don't give him another chance. Because that would be chance number goddamn four, three, five. I don't give a damn what chance it is. But I wouldn't be fucking with SK no more. That's what I wouldn't be doing, okay? Mm, he got me hot. Got me hot, hot, hot. I'm like, why even show this? Y'all could have just cut this out. And Raven was just like, ooh, at the end. I said, y'all playing with our emotions. At the end when she was in the apartment and she was just like, he cheated. I was like, oh, girl. What us going to do? We need to give up. That's what we need to do, girl. Yeah, girl, do you need me to come to Texas? It ain't nothing but a five-hour drive from Kansas. Do you need me to go? Because, girl, we'll get him together quick, okay? Now, let me stop. But, man, some of y'all been there with these cheating-ass men. Mm, Raven, I'm praying for you, girl. I'm Raven, just fine. Instagram going up, YouTube going up, Heifer doing Pilates. Okay, Raven, period. Get your coin, okay? That's just it. <laughs> fuck SK, okay? Hashtag SK. Let's get into Cole and Zaynab. You know I still don't like her. You know I don't like her. Like, it, it's just not gonna change. I'm just not a fan of her. I'm not. Talking about the DMs is open. Close them. Close them. You and Paul still got some work to do, okay? You cannot have your DMs open, okay? Cole said he want to move to San Diego. Cole says he was traumatized. Cole says she lied to him. He said he don't really like her because she tries to flip his words, play on his words. I really feel bad for Cole. I really do. I still feel bad for Cole. I don't feel like he deserved what she did to him. I just don't get it. And she feels like she's not in the wrong. She totally feels like I did nothing wrong. This was all on him. Let me tell you something about self-esteem. It don't take one person. People have been picking at your self-esteem for a long time. So you should have grabbed them girls in school that bullied you, them boys that bullied you in school, plus all the boyfriends you've been with before you got to call and line them up and say that they destroyed your self-esteem, okay? And first of all, like Cat Williams say, it's self-esteem, okay? So that's on yourself. Nobody can ruin our self-esteem but us because we let people get in too far, okay? 
her and Cole, if I was Cole, I wouldn't even film. I know he was probably under contract, but if I was him, I wouldn't have filmed. I wouldn't even came. For him what? Why? For what? Everybody acts like they don't like him. Everybody. They're talking more stuff on Cole than Bartise, and Bartise is so goddamn trifling. And I'm not saying Cole was just totally right, but the way she did him was wrong. And then for her to be like, so you expected me to just say, no, I won't marry you? Yes, that would have been the mature thing to do, Zaynab. Hey, I don't. And walked away. That whole little speech you gave made no goddamn sense. And you brought your homegirl to the party? Why? Because you, you needed her to have your back? Girl, Cole ain't never scared. If Cole got something to say to you, he gonna say it. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I thought we was gonna date after this. She's like, are you serious? I'm like, well, you were lying. You're a manipulator. Why wouldn't he think that? He's like, you said all these nice things before you did what you did at the end. I said, exactly, Cole. Get her together. But she is so crazy that she does not think she wrong. She's like, I'm right. Huh. He was in the wrong. Cole, get your life. Live your life. Move to San Diego and don't ever think about Zaynab. Don't talk to her. If she reaches out, block her. Never speak to her again. Do you understand me? Never speak to her again. I was just like, what? I'm wearing the green dress I revealed. You know, it's the same color when I revealed myself to Cole. What is your obsession with Cole? Let him go. You said you didn't want him. Why are you still on his dick? I don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm not a fan of her. I don't really have much to say. I, I literally don't. I, I don't know what y'all want me to say about Zaynab. She just does not make sense. Uh, she needs to keep working with Paul, her therapist. Or maybe she just needs to get another therapist. I don't know. I've been through a few therapists in my day. Shoot, I had to find the correct one. He found me. I found him. And now we are great. Okay? Anyways, on to the next. Colleen and Matt should not be together. Their parents are even involved in their relationship. She crying in the stairwell. He going in his car. She don't want him to come to her ballet. They don't live together. She hates his humping dog. What the fuck? Okay, they can't agree if they want a new house, an old house, if they want to live in Dallas or Fort Worth. To me, it's all the goddamn same to me. Okay, what is going on? She does not like Matt. Everything he does irritates her. She can't stand him. And y'all even got the parents involved. This is a mess. This is a mess. She just wants, she liked the idea of marriage and the wedding and all that, but not what it takes. And I don't think she ever really liked Matt. They're going to end up in divorce. I'm waiting. They need to go on and divorce now, not later. Don't have no babies with them because you don't like them. Be divorced by the time you're 35. I'm just saying, seen it, done it, wrote the book for it, okay? I can't stand them together. I can't. I really feel like Colleen and Cole should have been together. That would have been perfect. They would have been cute together. They should have been together, right? Okay, whatever. I'm shooting. I'm shooting my foot. You know what? I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Alexa and Brennan. I can't stand them. I can't stand them. You know they want to be the first ones to have the love is blind, baby. You already know that. They want to be the first ones. I could. I didn't like her dress at her birthday. I really do like Alexa, but I did not like her dress. I didn't like the jokes her daddy was telling. I don't think her daddy is a, a fan of Brennan at all. He's not, y'all. He is literally not. I'm just like, and the stepmama is still good looking. I'm like, I'm with Cole. You know what? I do love me some Cole because Cole was like, you're her mother. She's the same age as me. They're like her stepmom. He's like, you look young. He want to say, damn, girl, you look better than Alexa. You fine as hell. That's what he wanted to say, y'all. That's what he wanted to say, okay? Because the stepmama back all out. I said, girl, I see you. What daddy got? Daddy got them pockets, okay? Like I said, if daddy need a concubine, I'm ready, okay? I'm ready. Seems like you're ready. Okay, anyways. They... Brennan, I don't get into people's business. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Stay out of Cole's business. If you didn't personally talk to Cole, why are you judging Cole? Brennan think he is that dude. And I'm just like, you annoy me. You annoy me. And all Alexa is like, oh, the S-E-X this, the S-E-X this. <laughs> I'm like, so what do you have past him effing your brains out? I'll wait. It sounds like much of nothing. And I just feel like I don't get it. I think they're going to be divorced too, y'all. 
I'm sorry. I don't get it. Maybe they was putting on for the camera. Maybe they're not like that when they're in front of the camera. But they annoyed the hell out of me of this. Like, we are so much better than because we got married. And I'm just like, but your daddy is not a fan of him. Your daddy gave off straight, like, I do not like this dude vibes. <laughs> and I was just like, uh-uh. I don't think daddy like. Where was grandpa? We did not see grandpa. Is grandpa okay? Girl, give us an update on grandpa. But, um... It was a mess. I don't know. I just don't get the point of this. I don't even have much to talk about. I can't stand it. Like, I think Alexa and Brendan think they are Cam and Lauren, and they're not. You can't even compare, honey. You can't even compare because they're really nice people. You guys are assholes. That's a whole different ball game, okay? And like people said on Twitter, he ain't nothing but our goddamn lap dog. Yes, Alexa, what would you like? Yes, Alexa, you're right. Yes, Alexa. Yes, 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 yes. He gets on my goddamn nerves. And he needs to apologize with Cole. But I was seeing something. Was it Lifestyle Magazine that they said they stand with Cole now? I was like, are y'all serious? <laughs> But you see, Love is Blind is going to um, UK. See, I love Love Islands UK and all that. So I think we're going to have more genuine people on Love is Blind UK. I am excited for that. And hopefully Nancy is still not messing with Bartiz. Hopefully Zaynab is still working with Paul. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what y'all think about this. That's it. That's it until Love is Blind is coming back. Bye, y'all.